This is TJ. In this video, I'm going to quickly introduce 40 programs that are completely free to download and use. This is part three of a three-part video that I've made. So if you haven't watched one and two, you want to check those out as well. They've got, um, each one of them has 40 programs in it. Also free. The majority of them are open source software. Um, and uh, if, this is just designed to be a very quick overview of these programs. If you want a more detailed look at them, you can see some of my other YouTube videos um, or check out some details and uh, you can find download links and tutorials on my website, tjfree.com. This first program, Calibrate, is an ebook management program. You can download cover art and you could sync your ebooks between multiple e readers. You can also read your ebooks using this program and you can change ebooks from one format to another, which is nice. Songbird and Media Monkey are both programs very similar to iTunes. They're music management and organizing programs. Xbox Media Center is just a, uh, an entire media management for your images, uh, for pictures, music, and video. Um, it's ideal if you have a computer hooked up to your TV for, for your home entertainment system. Media Player Classic and VLC Media Player are, are both media players for playing video and audio. FUBAR 2000 is just a lightweight music player. Handbrake is a program for ripping DVDs and backing up DVDs to your computer, um, or you can also use it to resize them so they're optimal for playing back on mobile devices like smartphones and things like that. Infra Recorder is just a, a disc burning tool for burning CDs and DVDs. Windows CD Emulator lets you use a CD even when it's not in your computer. You can mount ISO images with it. Media Coder is a program that lets you change media, change audio and video from one format to another and transcode it. Media Info is a program that gives you detailed information about an audio or a video file. Composer is a program like Adobe Dreamweaver. It's a web page creator and editor, um, and it has a graphical user interface for that. Notepad++ is just a lightweight um, code tool for, for programming and writing and editing code and has lots of plugins and extensions as well. Eclipse is a, a development environment for programming in languages like PHP, C, Java, JavaScript, um, Ruby, Rails. You can also do um, create Android apps with it. Um, XAMPP, this is just a, a, a server, a tool for, um, ser you can serve web pages with it. Um, it also has like a PHP interpreters in it, um, MySQL database, things like that. So it's a, a complete server package. Glary Utilities. Um, and CC Cleaner are both tools for cleaning and optimizing your computer. Uh, and Defragler is a defragmenting tool for your hard drive. Recover is a tool for recovering files that have been deleted off your hard drive. And these four are actually a little unique, different from the rest of them, in that they're not open source software, they're freeware, and they're, um, they have limited free versions and also commercial paid versions, whereas everything else is just, is just most, most, well, it's free and open source. There's a just only a couple that are freeware, but they're free for personal and commercial use. Um, OPH Crack is a program that will let you pa um, crack and and um, uh, discover what the password is for Windows accounts. Um, it also comes in a live CD version, so you can just put in a CD and boot it up um, for gaining access to an to a Windows computer that you don't have the password for. Cane Enable also is a password cracking tool. You can do um, dictionary attacks, brute force attacks. Um, and things like that for cracking passwords. <clears throat> um, Aircrack NG, this is a tool for uh, discovering WPA and WEP encryption codes for wireless, for getting onto wireless routers and things like that. Um, it, and it's a, a packet sniffer for wireless information as well. The Ubuntu Live CD um, is just a Linux um, CD. You can use it to install the Linux operating system. You can also use it to get onto a computer to recover um, or to retrieve information from it if you don't have the password for that computer. Um, it's a, a live, this live CD version also can run off of a jump drive. <clears throat> Flight Gear is a program, or, well, as a game actually, similar to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, all the rest of these programs I'm going to be going over are games or game related. So if you're not interested in games, you can stop the video now, but the rest of these are going to be games. Um, Free Civ is a game similar to Civilization. Domination is a game similar to Risk, the board game Risk. Zero AD is a game similar to um, ah, Age of Empires. Uh, Hedge Wars is a game similar to Worms. And DOSBox is an emulator, and it's an emulator for DOS, for, and it's ideal for running um, old retro games, like the, you 
played in like in DOS back in the 90s, the disk operating system. Um, Visual Boy Advanced is a Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advanced and regular Game Boy emulator. Desmoomi is a DES emulator. Dolphin is a Nintendo Wii and Nintendo GameCube emulator. Kega Fusion is a Sega Master System and Sega Genesis emulator. Um, PCSX2 is a PlayStation 1 and 2 emulator. Uh, Project 64 is a Nintendo 64 emulator. ZSNES is a Super Nintendo emulator. And Nestopia is a regular Nintendo emulator, NES emulator. MAME is an emulator for playing arcade games. And Stella is a emulator for classic Atari, em emulating a, an Atari system. So, these are the programs. Like I said, you can find more information over at tjfree.com or just watch my other videos. And I hope you have a great day.